سلام به بخش دیگه از آموزش های اسپیکینگ آیلتس خوش اومدین توی این بخش میخواییم به شما یاد بدیم که چطور یک کاراکتر رو توصیف کنید از سوال های مهمی که توی بخش کاراکتر از شما پرسیده میشه این هست Describe a character from a book, movie that you like In this case you should say who the character is, character چه کسی هست When you first read or saw this book or movie زمانی که شما برای اولین بار یک فیلم و یا کتاب رو دیدین و این کاراکتر رو شناختین Why you like this character چرا این کاراکتر رو دوست دارین And whether this character is popular in your country حالا ما یک جواب فرضی برای شما آماده کردیم که با توجه به فریزایی که توی این بخش یاد میگیرین میتونین یک کاراکتر رو توصیف کنید. You see, although it might be ridiculous to admire a fictional character, I have a look up to name of a character, the lead protagonist of action movie, then you name, mention the name of the movie, ever since I watched the film. When I first saw it at a local movie theater last year, it had been out for a month or two. And as it been recently released on DVD, I'm going to purchase and watch it again. Perhaps next week. Portrait by In this case, your name of the actor and name of the character is a key member and one of the most capable agent of an intelligence organization. His job usually involves helping prevent major terrorists attack on his country, saving both civilian lives and government officials. And on many occasion, he does so at great personal expense. Actually, his heroic effort has inspired me with single-minded determination. The success of this blockbuster movie is directly attributed to the character of the protagonist. Needless to say, this fictional character has been a role model to many. And his sacrifices have been imprinted on the mind of those who have watched the movie. ما برای توصیف کاراکتر این فریز ها رو داشتیم. Ridiculous Fictional Look up to Lead protagonist out release purchase portray key member capable agent intelligence organization Official Personal expense Heroic effort Inspire Single-minded determination Attribute Role model Sacrifice و این پرینت ridiculous it means stupid on unreasonable and deserving to be laughed at fictional it means imaginary look up to it means to admire and respect someone Lead protagonist, it means the main characters in a story or a play. Out, it means when a book, 
magazine, film or musical recording is out. It is available to the public. Release. It means if a company releases a film or musical recording, it allows the film to be shown in a cinemas or makes the musical recording available for the public to buy. Purchase. It means to buy. Portray. It means to act a particular role in a film or a movie or play. Key member. It means a member that is very important and has a lot of influence on other people or things. Capable. It means able to do things effectively and skillfully and to achieve results. Agent. It means a representative or official of a government or administrative department of a government. Intelligence organization. It means a department of a country government which collects information about other countries, often secretly. Official. It means a person who is in a position of authority in a government or a large organization. Personal expense, it means personal sacrifice. Heroic effort, it means great attempt which requires courage. Inspire, it means to give someone the desire, confidence or enthusiasm to do something well. Single-minded determination, it means strong and great ability to continue trying to do something, although it's very difficult. Attribute, it means to say or believe that something is a result of a particular thing. Role model, it means a person who someone admires and whose behavior they try to copy. Sacrifice, it means when you give up something that is valuable to you in order to help someone else. Imprint, it means to fix an event or experience so firmly in a memory that it cannot be forgotten Although you do not try to remember it. مورد بعدی که ممکنه از شما بخوان توی آیلتس توضیح بدین توصیف یک معلم هست. Describe a teacher who has influenced you, influenced you, you should say. Who the teacher is. Where or when you meet him or her. How he or she has influ- influenced you. And whether you still know this teacher. Well, okay. Whereas I have learned a lot from the majority of my teachers, I pick Miss or Master. In this case, you mentioned the name of your teacher. My inspired friend teacher who has in his early 40s when I had the honor to attend a class he taught. Six years ago, I mean in 2007, to further my career, I decided to learn French as it could bring me a big advantage over my colleagues or competitors. Therefore, I seek up for a crash course in a language institute he used to work for. Once I attended the class, I noticed that his methods were really innovative and at the same time far more efficient than the well-established ones we were accustomed to. 
However, while he was an outstanding teacher and had a novel approach to teaching, the reason I feel he has made quite an impact on me has nothing to do with his professionalism. The chief cause is that he has so much personality. Actually, he was very sophisticated, confident, and urbane. As a matter of fact, I never lost touch with him. I call him quite frequently and pay him a visit every once a while. He still inspires and sets an example to almost anyone who gets to know him, including me. برای تیچر ما این فریز ها رو به کار بردیم. Inspired Honor Attend Advantage Sign up Crash course Language institute Method Innovative Well established Customat Novel Approach Quite an impact Have nothing to do with Professionalism Chief Cows Personality Sophisticated Urban Lose touch with someone Frequently Set an example Inspired mean excellent. Honor it means great privilege. Attend it means go to. Advantage it means a thing that helps you to be better or more successful than other people. Sign up, it means to arrange to do a course of study by adding your name to the list of people doing it. Crash course, it means a course that teaches you a lot of basic facts in a very short time. Language institute, it means a place people are taught second or foreign languages. Method, it means a particular way of doing something. Innovative, it means using new ideas, ways of doing something and more. Well established, it means conventional or usual. Accustomed, it means familiar with something. Novel, it means new and original. Approach, it means method. Quiet and impact, it means a strong effect. Have nothing to do with, it means to have no connection with someone or something. Professionalism, it means great skill and ability. Chief cause, it means main reason. Personality, it means the quality of a person's character that makes them interesting and attractive. 
sophisticated. It means having a lot of experience of the world and knowing about fashion, culture, and other things that people think are socially important. Urban, it means good at knowing what to say and how to behave in a social situation. Lose touch with someone, it means to no longer have any contact with someone. Frequently, it means often. Set an example, it means to behave in a way that other people should copy. مورد بعدی توصیف توی آیلز این هست که ممکنه از شما بخوان یک بچه رو توصیف کنین. Describe a child you like. You should say who the child is. How you know this child. What you like about this child. And what things you do with this child. Talk about one of your relatives so that you can use the same content in answering another card, which is family member. Um, generally speaking, I do not really care for children. But my eight-year-old nephew is really close to me. So I'm going to talk about him. To be honest, I'm from a close-knit family and get along really well with my brother, whose son I'm talking about. So I know him ever since he was a newborn baby. Actually, they moved to an apartment in my neighborhood when he was still an infant. And since then, he and his parents have always been hanging out at my place. Whereas he is just a child, he is very bright and mature for his age. Also, he is full of vitality and you'd be surprised to see how rosy his outlook on life is. You know, my nephew is like a son to me. So when I'm not at work, he accompanies me wherever I go. To tell you the truth, in my free time, I would like to go to a park in our neighborhood and go in fresh air. We often go there so that I can relax on a bench with a book or pepper and he can play on the swings or enjoy biking. برای توصیف چایلد ما از این فریز ها استفاده کردیم. Nephew, it means a son of your sister or brother. Or a son of the sister or brother of your husband or wife. Newborn baby, it means a very young child who has been born recently. Infant, it means baby. Place, it means home. Bright, it means clever and quick to learn. Rosy outlook, it means a positive attitude to life and the world of a particular person. A company, it means to go somewhere with someone. Gulp in, it means to breathe in. Pepper, it means newspaper. Swing, it means a seat joined by two ropes 
are chains to a metal bar or a tree on which especially a child can sit and move backwards and forwards. مورد بعدی توصیف توی آیلتس این هست که ممکنه از شما بخوان یک دوست رو توصیف کنید. ما در اینجا فریز هایی که میتونیم برای توصیف دوست به کار ببرین رو در قالب یک متن برای شما آماده کردیم. Describe a close friend. You should say who the friend is. When and where you first met. What you like about this friend? Talk about a happy person who is or has been your neighbor, your classmate, your colleague. Later in this chapter, you will see that you can use your answer to talk about neighbor, happy person, and colleagues. Uh, although I'm sociable and have a quite a few friends and account, I'd like to talk about my best buddy, a funny but at the same time well-mannered man named X. You know, he used to be one of my colleagues in a company I used to work for. But we barely know each other until one day. A mutual friend had a party where we were introduced to one another. Little did I know it was the start of a lifelong friendship. To make a long story short. When we got to know each other better, we realized that we were like-minded and saw eye to eye on most things. For instance, both of us enjoyed the same sport, like similar movies and so on. Also, my political Philosophical and religious views were much the same as his. To be honest, he possesses a host of admirable personality traits, which make him a wonderful lifelong companion. For one thing, he is extremely honest and obviously. Honesty is a bedrock of a true friendship. For another, he is totally reliable and can be counted on. Also, he is always cheerful and has a very optimistic outlook on life. So everyone adores him and would like to make friends with him. Phrase how your friend in Abudan sociable. Quiet a few. Funny. Well mannered. Barely. Lifelong friendship. Realize. See eye to eye. View. Admirable. Personality trait. Lifelong companion. Optimistic outlook. Sociable describes someone who likes to meet and spend time with other people. Quiet a few, it means a fairly large number. Funny, if someone is funny, they make you laugh. 
well mannered it means behaving in a pleasant and polite way barely it means almost not Lifelong friendship, it means a friendship that lasts for a whole of person's life. Realize, it means to understand. See eye to eye, it means to share the same views as someone about something. View, it means an opinion belief, idea, or a way of thinking about something. Admirable, it means deserving respect or approval. Personality trait, it means a particular characteristic that can produce a particular type of behavior. Lifelong companion, it means a friend you spend a lot of time with through your whole life. Optimistic outlook, a positive attitude to life and the world of a particular person. More to bad, you can add to your leader has. Describe a successful leader who you admire. In this case, you should say who the person is. What makes him or her a good leader? Why you admire this person? And whether this person has influenced you? You don't have to talk about a political leader saying that your boss is a great leader and a successful businessman allows you to use your talk for some other cards. I know a number of effective leaders. However, I'd go for my boss. A middle-aged businessman who is the CEO and chairman of the multinational firm I work for. This self-made man who has raised himself from poverty to success. Is a born leader. Who has strong leadership skills and delegate tasks appropriately. Moreover, not only is he really knowledgeable and experienced, knowing the ins and outs of a company, he is a veterinary and has the ability to think about the plan, the future with great imagination and intelligence. He has built up the company from scratch and the business has been flourishing under his leadership and is bound to continue dreaming in the future. Moreover, in addition to being a successful entrepreneur, he is philanthropist making generous donations to charities. As a matter of fact, he is a role model, setting an inspiring example for every single staff member, including me. Actually, he has helped me come to the realization that success doesn't come overnight. Actually, it takes blood, sweat, and tears. Barai tosif leader mai narudashtim. Effective. 
middle age CEO chairman multinational firm self-made raised oneself from poverty to success born leader leadership skills delegate task knowledgeable visionary imagination intelligence from scratch flourish bound thrive philanthropist generous donation set an inspiring example staff member overnight blood sweat and tears effective it means successful or achieving the result that you want middle aged it means neither young nor old CEO it means the person with a most important position in a company chairman it means the person in charge of commit a company and so on multinational firm it means a company that operates in several different countries especially a large and powerful company self-made it means rich and successful as a result of your own work and not because of family money raise oneself from poverty to success it used when a poor man gets rich and successful through his own effort born leader it means having a natural ability to be a leader leadership skills it means an ability to control a group of people or a country and so on delegate task it means to give a particular job duty and so on to someone else so that they do it for you knowledgeable it means knowing a lot visionary it means a person who has the ability to imagine how a country society industry and so on will develop in the future and to plan in a suitable way imagination it means the ability to think of new ideas intelligence it means the ability to learn understand and make judgment or have opinions that are based on reason from scratch it means from the beginning without using anything that already exist flourish it means to grow or develop successfully bound it means certain or extremely likely to happen 
thrive it means to grow develop or be successful entrepreneur it means a person who makes money by starting or running business especially when this involves taking financial risks philanthropist it means a person who helps the poor especially by giving them money generous donation it means when large amounts of money or goods are given to help a person or organization set an inspiring examples it means to behave in a way that other people get encouraged to copy staff member it means a person who works for a particular company organization or institution overnight it means suddenly and unexpectedly blood sweat and tears it means hard work for review we have some other phrases that we know adore it means to love someone or something very much bedrock it means the main principle on which something is based blockbuster it means a book or film that is very successful especially because it's exciting body it means friend charity it means an organization for helping people in need cheerful it means happy and showing it by the way that you behave close knit family it means describe a family in which everyone helps and supports each other colleague it means a person that you work with confident it means feeling sure about your own ability to do things and be successful count on somebody it means to be confident that you can depend on someone entertainer it means someone whose job is to entertain people by singing telling jokes and so on every once a while it means sometimes but not often further it means to make something promote or be more successful hang out it means to spend a lot of time in a place or with someone inspire it means to give someone the desire confidence or enthusiasm to do something well like minded it means people who describes as like minded share the same opinion ideas or interest little did i know it means i did not know make friends with someone it means to become a friend of someone mature it means mature people behave like adults in a way that shows they are well developed emotionally mutual friend it means a person who is the friend of two people who may or may not know each other outstanding it means excellent 
clearly very much better than what is usual. Performer, it means a person who entertains people by acting, singing, dancing, or playing music. Pauses, it means to have or own something or to have a particular quality. Pry, it means to try to find out private facts about a person. Reliable, it means someone that is reliable can be trusted or believed because they work or behave well in the way you expect. Role model, it means a person who someone admires and whose behavior they try to copy. Singing voice, it means the musical quality of the voice while singing. The ins and outs, it means the detailed or complicated facts of something. Versatile, it means able to do many different things. Vitality, it means energy and enthusiasm. This video is taken for Navidarius page.